So free space. That no. <laughs> <laughs> what Alright everyone, welcome back to the Arcade of Fun, in which we're going to do our fifth game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the SNES, and so far I've won $172,951 in just four games. Let's see if we can win more. We have Jim and Jenny facing me today, the two J's. Pop the dollar figures in. And the categories we're going to be dealing with are going to be artists, the French Revolution, file under A, we know what that means, world literature, Shakespeare, and finally, American authors. All right. I'll start with American authors for 100. The answer is... After he wrote Omu and the Whale, he published a book of Civil War poems, Battle Pieces. It was Herman Melville, and that was my guess. Oh well. Let's have American Authors 200. The answer is... Midlip Pass by this author of Exodus is a story of the 1956 Sinai War. Who is Leon Uris? American authors for 300. The answer is. He wrote four volumes of short stories, including Tales of the Jazz Age and All the Sad Young Men. Jim. F. Scott Fitzgerald was his name. Jim takes the lead for now. Shakespeare, 100. The answer is... In Romeo and Juliet, Ascalius is the prince of this city. What is Verona? Shakespeare, 300. The answer is... King John and King Henry V are both set in these two countries. What are England and France? Hey, tiger. And I picked the right two. Shakespeare for 300. The answer is... The merry wives of this place are Mistress Ford and Mistress Page. What is Windsor? Shakespeare for 400. The answer is... This tragic title character is the son-in-law of a senator named Brabantio. I'm going to take a guess and say who is Othello. He's the one. Shakespeare for 500. The answer is... This play features pirates, lords, a prince of Tyre, and a one-man chorus named Gower. Jenny. Mm, she doesn't know. Jenny is not off to a good start. And it was Pericles, Prince of Tyre. 
American authors for 400. The answer is... The education of this man is an autobiography of a grandson and great-grandson of presidents. Henry Adams. Alright. Artists, 100. The answer is... Most game show contestants asked to name a famous painter would name this 17th century Dutch man. Who is Rembrandt? I'll have artists for 200. The answer is... This great Spanish cubist once wrote a play called Desire Caught by the Tail. Who is Pablo Picasso? Artist 300. The answer is... Painter Emmanuel Lutze may have used the Rhine as a model for this river, Washington Cross. What is the Delaware? Artist 400. The answer is... This family of artists included Hans the Elder, Ambrosius, Sigmund, and Hans the Younger. Who are the whole Holbeins? We'll have artists for 500. The answer is... 17th century painter Jan van Goyen was one of this country's most gifted landscape artists. What is the Netherlands? I ran the entire category. American authors, 500. The answer is... Author of The Ambassadors, he's also known for literary criticism like The Art of Fiction. Jenny? Henry James Jr. That's correct. And she's out of the hole and has some cash. Alright, Jenny, we have three full categories. Which one do you want? World Literature for 100. The answer is... Called the greatest of all Latin poets, he's most known for the I Need. Who is... Um, I'm just going to say who is Homer. No. Jim. Virgil. Oh, okay. The French Revolution 100. The answer is... The reign of this ended with the death of Robespierre. Jim. Terror. World Literature 200. The answer is... Ladies say Shonagon wrote Pillow Book. Gossipy consider stories considered a classic in this country. Um. I'm just. I got it between two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and say what is Japan. And I picked the right one. World Literature for 300. The answer is. The Ghost of Christmas Present appears in this Dickens novel. What is a Christmas Carol? World Literature, 400. Daily Double, I'll do 900. Alright, here's the clue of World Literature. Playwrights born there include Dion Bolkakalt, Lady Gregory, John Sange, and Samuel Beckett. What is the Lake District? Uh, 
that's wrong. It is Ireland. Oh, okay. <coughs> World Literature 500. The answer is... This British author's book, Ascendant, is an account of his spying exploits in World War I. Jenny. Somerset Maum. Yep. File under A for 100. The answer is... Lieutenant General Boris Gromov was the last soldier, Soviet soldier to be withdrawn from here. Jenny. Afghanistan. Yep. File under A, 200. The answer is... This unattractive Hun was known as the Scourge of God. Who is Attila? What's up, file under A for 300? The answer is... To handle the trillions in our budget deficit, this bead calculator would need 13 columns. What is an abacus? File under A for 400. The answer is... Lyndon Johnson popularized this phrase to describe job programs for women and minorities. Jim. Nope. Jenny. Affirmative action. Oh, okay. That's correct. File under A500. The answer is... Under the main heading of astrology, subheadings include these two A signs. What are... Aries? And Aquarius. Go for 500. The French Revolution, 200. The answer is... Written during the revolution in 1792 and then banned, it later became the national anthem. Oh, too late. I know it, but it's too late. It is the Marseillaise. Yeah. The answer is... This famous quote is from the book by the philosopher Rousseau, not Marie Antoinette. What is let them eat cake? until they had a constitution. A tennis court. Oh, okay. Not a last clue. The answer is... Called the Society of Friends of the Constitution, it was more commonly known as this club. It was the Jacobins. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have $3,500, Jenny 1400 Jim 1200 So Jim will go first in double Jeopardy. Dealing with Nebraska, Myths and Legends, 
nuclear physics, dogs, approximate weights and measures, and finally, 16th century science. All right, let's begin. Nebraska 200. The answer is... This long river forms Nebraska's eastern boundary. What is the Missouri? Nebraska for 400. In the double. I'll bet it all. On July 12, 1861, this Wild West gunslinger killed his first man at Rock Creek Station. Who is Wild Bill Hickok? Nebraska 600. The answer is... Closely related to the elephant, this woolly prehistoric mammal is a state fossil. What is a mammoth? Nebraska 800. The answer is... One of these 160-acre plots in America was claimed by Daniel Freeman in 1863 near Beatrice. Jim. A homestead. That's right. Approximate weights and measures 200. The answer is... Size of for unusually large eggs or elephants. What is Jumbo? I'll have uh, Nebraska for a thousand. The answer is... And it name indicates Nebraska's main farm crop is this. What is corn? Here we go. Approximate weights of measures for 400. The answer is... An amount held between the thumb and index finger, one can be of salt or of snuff. What is a pinch? Approximate weights and measures for 600. The answer is... Amount of dollars Clint Eastwood worked for in the title of his first spaghetti western. What is a fistful? Approximate weights and measures for 800. The answer is... Amount of grilled cream that'll do ya. What is a little dab? Approximate weights and measures 1,000. I'll bet it all again. In a title of 1957 Jerry Lee Lewis hit, there is this much shaking going on. What is a whole lot? There we go. I'll have dogs 200. The answer is... Though the city is now known as Beijing, this dog is called a Beijingese. What is a Pekingese? Dogs 400. The answer is... A small dog with a short nose or short nose on a person. What is a pug? Dogs for 600. The answer is... Dark-tongued doggy whose name is a synonym for food. What is a chow? Dogs 800. The answer is. Originally from Canada's Newfoundland province, this dog is now a real go getter. Oh, too late. It is the Labrador Retriever. Yeah. Alright. 
$2,200. Myths and Legends, 200 The answer is... The phrase, beware of great sparing gifts, comes from this gift given to the Trojans. What is a Trojan horse? Myth and Legends for 400. The answer is... The dragon who guarded this was lulled to sleep by Medea, who loved Jason. What is the Golden Fleece? Myth and Legends for 600. The answer is... An ocean liner named for this great god of the sea capsized in a 1972 adventure film. Uh, who is Poseidon? Or what is Poseidon? Myths and Legends 800. The answer is... Ch Chiron was the greatest of these creatures who were half man, half horse. What are... Centaurs? Uh, Myths and Legends 1000. The answer is... After Ulysses' men were made of pigs and themselves, this witch god has turned into swine. Who is Circe? Okay. Dogs 1000. The answer is... It's also called the Barkless Dog of Africa. What is the hyena? No. Oh, well, it's still over $25,000. And sorry if my voice sounds kind of weak. I'm getting over a cold. The Basenji. Oh, that's right. I always forget this clue. That's okay. We have two categories left, Jim. Where to? 16th century science, 200. The answer is... In 1557, Robert Record introduced this map symbol consisting of two parallel lines. What is equals? Sixteenth century science for four hundred. The answer is Italian P. Alpini was the first European to describe this plant as beans or brood. What is coffee? Sixteenth century science, six hundred. The answer is Bartolomeo is Eustachio and Gabriel Fallopius have this type of body part named after them. <coughs> what are what is a tube? Sixteenth century science, eight hundred. The answer is the man who brought the calendar into sync by dropping ten days out of eighteen fifty two held this post. Uh, Jenny. Pope. Alright. Correct. Jenny and Jim are tied. $3,000 a piece. 60th century science, 1000 The answer is... In an erroneous word, Johann Kepler explained why there are exactly six of these. Jim. Planets, even though there are really eight today. All that's left is nuclear physics. The answer is almost all of an atom's mass is contained within this. What is a nucleus? I'll have, uh, 400. The answer is... If present use continues, the 235 isotope of this element will become scarce through the 1990s. What is uranium? Six hundred. The answer is... 
Also called an atomic pile, it produces or controls nuclear energy at the power plant. The reactor, yeah. The answer is... Energy used in Star Trek torpedoes released when an excited electron drops back down. Jenny. Oh, a photon. I was thinking that, but I didn't want to buzz in, but that's okay. Last clue. Then we go to Final Jeopardy. The answer is... Country in which Hahn and Strassman first split the atom. Jim. <coughs> oh, he doesn't know. I have a clue, but I'm going to hold back. It, oh, well, Jenny doesn't know either. If I were to buzz in, I'd say what is Germany, but I'm going to hold back. And stay at twenty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, I would have been right. Oh well, it's time for final Jeopardy. Category is sheep. The East Frisian brain isn't raised for its wool, but it's this. What is its milk? I felt pretty good about this, that's why I went all in. Is it its milk? Of course. So my five game winnings total is $226,951. Jim got it wrong. He loses a thousand. Jenny got it right. She goes to 5,800. And I'll see you all for that next video coming soon.